All right, guys, so a lot of changes are coming to YouTube. And obviously with change, a lot of people are going to be very reluctant to get on board with it. But let me just tell you this, man. Just like with Disney and Marvel and Star Wars and Avatar and Fox, if you can't beat them, just join them. No matter what, in the end, they're going to take over and do whatever they want to do with the world anyway. So you might as well just get on board. The faster that you do it, the faster that your monetization will start to level out. And then you'll know exactly how much you're making per month. Or in some cases, every six months, four months. And I think in this case, you're probably looking at a check every year now. Because, man... This is what it says. Let me see if I can pull this up. I'm going to go ahead and swipe down. And I'm just going to see if it comes down. It's probably not. Um, no, it's not. But it says, uh, as of today, um, YouTube channels that have a uh, designated or designed for, for children um, labeled videos will no longer have personalized ads, live stories, comments, notification bells and uh and i think it said live comments on there as well and i'll put all this inside of the description box or on this video whenever i decide to upload it here's what's kind of tricky about it man youtube when they first send out the email and they sent out a couple since last september they sent out an email that said the FTC has new regulations. This is what needs to be done in order to identify your channel and also obviously to make it a little bit safer for children. The only thing that would change would be certain ads that were placed on your videos. This email tonight says that there are no, zero, zilch, nada, <laughs> No personalized ads on channels that have made for children. Now, my gaming videos on my channel, this is just, you know, right now we're talking specifically for Translucent Origin. Majority of the gaming content that I have on there, I put on there made for kids. Well, now I have to go back and I have to change it because I'm trying to maximize the monetization. I'm trying to maximize the amount of ads. So usually I game for about an hour, sometimes two hours. When I game for an hour, two hours, let's just go with one hour. If I game for an hour, I usually have about 10 to 15 ads. If I'm gaming for two hours, I can usually have between 30 to 45 ads. And I'm always going to have one in the beginning and one at the end, just because those are gimmies those will generate pretty decent amount of, uh, of money um, if done correctly and obviously time to where the user or the viewer doesn't have to um, stop what they're doing with their hands and click skip or when they're watching and they're focused on your game, all of a sudden something comes up at the wrong time. So you have to really space it out. And for me, what I usually do is I usually do every seven minutes. Um, sometimes when I'm doing longer ones, I'll do it every 10 minutes. And then if it's a really fun game that I really enjoy, um, like the Outer Worlds, I'll do it like every uh, 12 to 15 minutes. I'll space it out within that hour to two hours. <sighs> but I'll tell you this, man. It's going to be tough, man, for YouTube to adjust, man. And I, and I knew this was coming anyway, man, because of just the way that the world is changing, man. You know, we're, we're in a big... And let, me, let me not get distracted, but we're, we're in 2012. There's a lot of different, you know, um, a lot of different frequencies that are happening right now. A lot of different things that are, that are occurring in the world. And you've seen them with the headlines that are, that are changing, man. So a lot of these companies... Are trying to brace for the impact that's that's coming, man. We've seen it with Hallmark. We've seen it with um, um, other companies that said that they weren't going to 
fire people and fire employees, but yet they're doing it now in big numbers, man. All right. And then you obviously have the threat of, uh, of, of, a, of a, no, we're not going to talk about that. But anyway, um, just wanted to kind of give you guys that information. As far as my channel, man, this year is supposed to be the year that I get my Mac. Okay, this is the year that I go back to editing and go back to um, posting some of my trailer videos that I usually did back in like 2015 or 15 or 16, I think it was. Or maybe it was even 14. Um, so I'm trying to go back to that. I'm trying to um, take the channel back to some classic modes, but also, you know, using some new technology and just try to, you know, make it a little bit better, spice it up a little bit or whatever, but we'll, we'll see what happens, man. But yep, that's pretty much it, man. Hopefully you guys made the changes to your channel and uh, hopefully you survive, you know, this 2020 YouTube, I don't even know what to call it, YouTube Smackdown, YouTube Crackdown, YouTube, YouTube Kids, there you go, the 2020 YouTube Kids movement. Hopefully you survive that because... That's what it is, man. <sighs> you try to get away from kids, man, because you don't have any, and then all of a sudden you figure out that these little bastards run the world, man. Right here, guys. Take it easy.